Hello everybody, Rods Rubs here, back again another Saturday upload. You read the title, you read the thumbnail. Today we've got an unreleased, off-white, Air Jordan 1. One of Virgil's last creations before his untimely death. Uh, rest in peace to the man. But today we're going to be looking at the Canary Yellow Off-White Air Jordan 1. Let's get that intro montage going. Obviously, this is an unreleased Off-White Air Jordan 1 that has been seen in Virgil's museum exhibits, the Figures of Speech museum exhibit, I believe it is called. Uh, these, as well as many other unreleased Off-White creations and other prototypes. This being one of my personal favorites, along with many others. These and the bread colorway of the Jordan 4s seem to be pretty dang popular. But today, we've got these. These are a personal favorite. I absolutely love it. My favorite color is yellow, and these have this bright and obnoxious canary yellow. But let's start with the bottom and work our way up. We've got the outsole. You can see a little bit of muck and dirt on there, but it is just a normal Jordan 1 outsole. I should say and show this off, these are a very cheap, very low quality pair. Like you can see, absolutely no effort at all. I can fold this thing in half like a taco. This pair is very cheap, very low quality, because high quality pairs, versions of these don't really exist because they are an unreleased fantasy colorway, you know, supply and demand. But that doesn't really matter to me. I'm just happy that I have them. And hey, with the, uh, with the insoles in there, they're plenty comfortable. Going to the side of the sole, we can see, obviously it is a normal Jordan 1 outsole with the air text at the back. That is what my pair looks like. Moving up to the upper, we'll start with the front. We'll start with the toe box here. We can see around the toe on the front, moving up to the lace eyelets and whatnot, it is a smooth leather, but we can see with it on the inside of here, it is actually like a full grain leather. It goes all the way through. So on the outside, it is the smooth leather, but then on the inside, it's big hairy suede. That is something that I like. It is not nearly as hairy and chunky on other off-white Jordans that I have that are more accurate. Something interesting about these is that they follow the style of the UNC colorway with having the ripstop over the toe and the side panel. Something that I don't really like, but I'm not confident enough to carve the ripstop off of the toe here, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Moving along to the heel, We've got the almost brown, almost gray suede coming up to the back of the ankle, and then this uncovered paper mache-esque textured material on the heel, just like every other off-white. Then moving around to the other side panel, it is a white smooth leather with the exposed stitching and the little dots where the swoosh would have been as well as, of course, the off-white branding text. I should say, the placement of them seems a little small, especially in comparison to my Chicago pair. It does seem quite small. As we can see, the C comes all the way back, almost going off. With this, we can see it's past the stitching, not even coming close, but the text is significantly smaller. You can see the size and quality difference of the text here. It definitely should be more like my Chicago pair on the left here. Moving on to the upper portion of the upper. Around the lace eyelets is the same yellow leather. It follows and goes up all the way. We got the little teeth. However, that is definitely a very poor rendition of the little shark teeth looking edges that's supposed to be on the inside here. That's very bad. Regarding the tongue, it is not nearly as tall as it should be, and also is very thin. It's not the right shape. If you wear if you wear this pair very loose, you'll get little exposed bits here where it angles, which is kind of obnoxious, but I wear them relatively tight, so it's not a big issue for me. Regarding the little Nike Air tag that's on the side of the tongue, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> the inside, 
has yellow material and it feels nice and soft and comfortable. That's something that I will say, despite these being pretty bad pair, generally pretty low quality. The com comfort, it's not too different comfort wise. The si this is what the size tag looks like. You can read it all in there if you want. Size 10 and a half US, 44 or five euro. Then going around to the ankle collar, it is white, just like the inner side panel with yellow embossment. It definitely looks better on camera, but it is pretty low quality overall. The ghost stitching, as you can see, is absolutely terrible, practically non-existent. And now that I have the lace out, on the inside of the ankle collar panel is the 85. We can see the Wings logo from there, which is good. But actually not bad on this detail here, not bad. You can see the foam on the inside of the wings panel. It is nice and soft, and I'll give it that. I'll definitely give this pair props for that. Another thing on this pair that really screams low quality to me uh, is just the absolute garbage quality of putting the lace eyelets where they're supposed to be. These are, this one is just so much farther back for no reason. You can really see it. If I come from this side, you can just see like, it's just, they're way too close together. And like this one's forward and this one's backwards. It's kind of weird. Never seen that before. Just another little detail. But if you don't have the, uh, the white ankle collar bit flapping around, then it doesn't really matter because it's covered up. And now for the on feet portion, talking about comfort and sizing, this pair fits just like any other Air Jordan 1, I guess more specifically the off-white Jordan 1s because they do have their own unique feeling because of the materials used and how they're put together and whatnot. Despite this being a really, really bad pair, they fit pretty damn comfortably. However, due to the absolute garbage quality sole, uh, a replacement pair of insoles is absolutely necessary. So definitely get your true to size, just like any other Jordan 1 and absolutely get a pair of replacement insoles. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next week.